Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I'm glad that didn't stop Apollo. Um, we're all excited uh, about the Orion launch, Mr. Gerstmeyer, and I think we are seeing more public awareness of SLS now, and that's something we all look forward to. Uh, can you take a moment following up on uh, Congresswoman Bonamici's uh, comments to discuss the importance of another special aspect of the uh, SLA program, and that's the exploration ground systems. I'm, I'm sure many folks are not up to speed on the importance of the ground systems aspects of the SLS. Yeah, the ground systems team play a critical role in the, the space launch system. They're working on the mobile uh, launch platform to, to interface with the rocket to provide propellant uh, to that to fuel the rocket and they'll actually launch of it. They're also working on the launch pad. Significant amount of work has gone into the pad. We've looked forward to trying to lower operations costs. So there's many activities on the launch pad. It's a clean pad which should help lower launch costs. Uh, we also have the firing room down at the Kennedy Space Center. That's going in place with a lot of software development activities there. We've also made the, the launch pad a multi-purpose launch pad, so it can not only support SLS, but it can support other rockets. So the fiber cables that run out to that launch pad can support multiple rockets launching off of that pad, which is a good thing. So there's a tremendous amount of work going on at the Kennedy Space Center. The recovery activities that occurred uh, for the EFT-1 flight, those were all managed out of the Kennedy Space Flight Center by the ground system folks that worked with the Navy and the, um, and the Anchorage to pick up the capsule. So again, uh, the, the ground support activities, and as I sh you saw in the video, are absolutely critical to what we're doing with the heavy lift launch vehicle and the Orion processing and manufacturing. Uh, thank you. Uh, following up a little bit, uh, can you explain the thinking behind the President's budget request calling for funding increases for exploration ground system in the um, uh, years 2016 to 2019, and what happens if uh, these funding targets are not met? Again, we need the funding levels that we've requested to meet the schedules that, that we've put forward, or, or there'll be slippages and activities that I've described. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll get back. 